Hey, hello there. Uh, let's talk about today's lead coding challenge question. It's called flatten a multi-level double linked list. So we have this thing that's called a multi-level double linked list. Uh, what makes this multi-level uh, contrast to do the textbook uh, double linked list is that uh, uh, in addition to the next and previous pointers, the node inside this multi-level uh, double linked list that can also have a child pointer, which can be either null or it can point to a head node of another multi-level double linked list. So this is, uh, looking at this picture here, it's a realization of this uh, uh, multi-level double linked list. If you ignore all those child pointer fields, uh, then it would just be three different uh, uh, double linked lists isolated by themselves. But once you introduce this uh, a child pointer, it become a whole, uh, whole thing and you have this kind of a nested uh, um, relationship. The the uh, double link list the start with uh, head node seven is nested within the first uh, uh, double double link list. So you have this kind of a multi-level nested uh, structure there. Uh, the question is asking us to flatten the list so that all the nodes appear in a single level double link list. Uh, so the one obvious question that we want to ask uh, is to uh, what, what's going to be the output when we flatten it. Uh, so we, we definitely have a lot of choice. We can explore the first level first and then we put all those second level uh, to the back of that. Or, or it could be, uh, in, in this case actually, uh, whenever we visit a node that has both directions, it can either go to next or go to the children, uh, we actually uh, visit to the children first. So the output will look like uh, uh, this. So one, two, three, because three has both the next and also the children. In the final output, uh, in the flattened result, it go to the children first. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's uh, the order. Um, and we can see here, once we went to the children route, connecting three with seven, uh, we keep going visit uh, 8 and 8 have the same choice uh, we have to visit the children first we visit 11 12 and go back to 9 10 once we finish all the children uh, uh, you know all the double link list from this children pointer we go back to the next and visit 4 5 and 6 so as you can see it's a uh, it's a DFS search kind of a pattern uh, we keep going keep going whenever we have two choices uh, uh, visit either next or child we go to the child route uh, after we finish all those we go back to the next um, and uh, what we're going to do is basically connecting the previous node and the, the current node uh, when we do this dfs search uh, and uh, uh, to solve this iteratively we're just going to use a stack to keep track of the node and use two pointers one is the uh, previous node the other one is the current node that we are looking at um, and um, uh, yeah, and basically just rewiring those next and previous pointers. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, looking at the, this example, you can clearly see that uh, you want to do DFS search. Uh, you want to go as deep as possible, uh, as deep into the multi-level as possible before you go back to the uh, previous level, finishing the work there, and go back to the top level. So. That's, the, that's why this order is 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 11, 12, and then go back to 9, 10, and then go back to the rear top level for 5, 6. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Let's solve this. Um, number of nodes will not exit a thousand. So it doesn't it does tell us whether it can be um, empty. And then we're just gonna do a DFS search, uh, starting with the stack. Um, and obviously, the, the 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 initial, the only node inside the stack in the beginning will be just the head node. Uh, so we will need a, a Sentinel node to uh, be in our initial previous node. Uh, so let me actually do a little bit anim uh, animation. So this is the uh, example copied over here. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, uh, initialize a Sentinel node, previous here, 
and then just gonna uh, do this uh, DFS search with a stack. Uh, initially, we we'll pop this node one out, which is the head node. Uh, so the traverse will become that node. And then what we're gonna do is to uh, establish the previous and traverse uh, kind of a back and forth relationship. Once we do that, we can look at uh, the next and child uh, because in this case we only have a next, so we push the next node onto the stack. At that time, we can advance the previous over to this node, uh, and then after that, we go to the next iteration. The next iteration, we pop the top node out of out of the stack and uh, move the, the traversal node onto uh, to there, and then um, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, establish the next and previous uh, connection between these two nodes, previous and traverse. After we've done that, we look at uh, do we have a next, do we have a child. Uh, we do have a next, so we push that next onto the stack. Uh, once we update the stack, we move the previous to the current to traverse, and then uh, go to the next iteration. In the next iteration, we're going to uh, move the traverse onto the top node of the stack and pop it off. Um, and then establish the uh, uh, bi-directional uh, linkage between these two nodes. Uh, after we do the rewire, we look into, do we have a next? Do we have a child? Yes, we do have a next. We push it onto the stack first. Uh, but we also have a child, so we push the child onto the stack uh, after we push the next. So that uh, uh, once we move the previous over and enter the next iteration, we're going to pop 7 out. Uh, and then we're going to move the traverse o over there. Uh, so we start to explore the nested uh, double learning list before we go actually uh, go back to resume on the very first level. Uh, once we do that, we establish the uh, bi-directional connections as usual, and then uh, move previous over here, uh, and then push the next onto the stack and then enter the uh, next iteration. In the next iteration, uh, we pretty much just rinse and repeat all this process. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit animation about how to solve this. It's pretty, pretty standard uh, uh, DFS search. So we're just gonna do a while loop, um, pop this node out. And then uh, we establish the relationship between previous and traverse. Once we've done that, we look for the, uh, the two possibilities, the next and the child. We push the next on the stack first before we push the child onto the stack. So that way, because we pop the, the stuff that's uh, last again, uh, we're gonna explore the children before we explore the next. So if we do have the children, we push it on over there. And after we've done that, uh, we uh, advance previous to be the current traverse. So to initialize this previous node, uh, and also be able to point back to the uh, starting head node, uh, we're just going to do a sentinel dummy node here, which is uh, initialized uh, with the value be, uh, I don't care the value, the previous can be none, the next uh, is the head node, and uh, the uh, the child node is, I, I don't care about that, it does not have a child node. So in the end I will just return uh, dummy dot next, which is pointing to the head node, and I will also make sure that uh, uh, I set the, the previous node for the original head node to be a null pointer. Uh, so that's um, about it. Let me see if it works. Uh, my 
my result is uh, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 11, 12, 9, 10, 4, 5, 6. It's not a valid double link list. Why is that? Why? They seem to be the same thing. Oh, I, I see. I see. Um, I, I have to clear the child pointer. Okay, that makes sense. Because in the picture here, it shows that uh, the child node of uh, node 3 is cleared. That's a no pointer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, this time it works. Alright, so that's, uh, that's this uh, question today. It's a DFS search, and uh, you just have... Uh, uh, the previous node and the, the current traverse node, uh, just advancing them. Uh, make sure the order when you're advancing them uh, are the are, the, are correct. And whenever you move to the next position, you establish this uh, previous and next uh, relationship uh, by directional links. Yeah. So that's uh, it for today. Uh, the time complexity is order of m uh, because we visit uh, every node exactly once. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's this.